Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've got a bit of an exciting one today. I'm going to try and structure this as best I can, but I'm really excited, so... Yeah, you can tell already, blah. We'll, we'll see how this goes. So I've got a mixture here to do a bit of an unboxing, come first impressions, come what fits inside. What's in here? There's also a bit of a backstory, so... It's a bag, which I've wanted for a while and have been looking online and yes, definitely wanted it. But it's also a bag that's notoriously hard to get hold of. Um, so yeah, first requested this back in January and then finally this week, first week of March, I've got my hands on it. So it has taken a little while. I am really excited and I am really pleased. So more to say but whatever. Big thanks to Harrods, that's all I'm going to say. I've said this before in my videos but whenever I'm having a shopping dilemma I always go to Harrods and they always help me. So here we have it. So obviously it's from Louis Vuitton. Big box. Um, yeah I was starting to lose hope with this and uh, yeah sent a final message on Monday so you know any estimate, anything, and was told, it's coming today, when do you want to come and see it? And I replied straight back, like, I'll be there straight after work. Um, which, <laughs> they were a bit surprised. Like, Normally people say I'll be there in a day or two, but you were like, I'll be straight there. Anyway, first thing in the, in the bag, even, is the Louis Vuitton receipt. And there we go. And you can see there, yeah, good old Harrods. So yes, that's what the receipt says I bought. There were also a few people in the queue waiting to be served whilst I was paying, whilst I was like just inspecting this before paying for it and I didn't notice that my sales associate said, oh, we're getting a few evils simply because of what's in here, nothing to do with me. I know this all the way around, but whatever. Here we have the box, and again, one of these really nice flappy, see there? Magnetic flappy up box. It's a good angle, isn't it? Right. So there we have the dust bag. And inside. So here it is, my beautiful Pochette Matisse in monogram reverse. Isn't she stunning? And the reason I wanted this bag um, was because, because initially I wasn't too sure. When I first saw these in the, just the, the plain monogram all over, my initial thought was, oh, is it a bit, I'm just going to hold it there because it's much better looking than me. Um, you know, is it a bit too saturated? wasn't sure and then the more I saw and the more I saw pictures and then when I saw pictures of someone wearing one of these babies I was like no definitely want one having the two-tone breaks it up for me instead of having like on this on the normal monogram, monogram you have the um facetta facetta whatever you have the leather here tabs here and here so it's going to be subject to rain spots and whatnot which doesn't bother me that much not what I never thought anyway, but something like this which is quite, it's squidgy but structured, so it's, to me it's more of a structured shape bag, that means in my mind I want it a bit more perfect. So I'm really happy that I've, that it comes with the black. And the reason I wanted this as well, I wanted a really easy care bag that could get a bit wet and it wouldn't matter, and based on how much I've used my never full MM, I have used my never full MM, God knows how much, which isn't just a plain monogram because I find it carefree, lightweight, fits a hell of a lot. So that was my reasoning, but I don't always want a bag that big. So that was my reasoning for getting this. So I'll just get on with it and show you. So you can see here, it's got the reverse monogram on the front. We've got the closure um, clasp here, which if you just push like so, it opens up. 
and basically you've got a little knobby bit little knobby bit there which is now plastic I think it used to be metal and that basically just goes into the hole there and then I think it's this yeah so this this one here is static this one here is the one that moves and it just changes the mechanism you can see it there so it grips it and releases it so that's the outside and as I said you've got this lovely handle and then on the front on the top there of the handle you've got it says Louis Vuitton Paris and then you've got loops here for the shoulder strap on either side and then you've also got really handy zip on the back which is really nice and it's quite a roomy zip again I'll, in a minute I'll do I'll do some odd shots after this. We're going to be probably like around most of my house, we we'll trying different places to show you this. But I'll do some odd shots, and then I'll probably just sit on the floor and show you a few bits and pieces that go in. It's not going to be an exhaustive everything you can fit in here because I know there's loads of those videos around, and I'll leave those people to it. So this is still got the plastic on, so I will remove the plastic with you, which is easier than the done. So there's one with the plastic gone. Look how shiny it is now. Uh, I know some people keep the plastic on, but I've heard from other YouTubers, particularly uh, Claire Chanel, that it can mean, I'll just move this one, it can mean that the, um, the plastic actually over a while sort of can even tarnish the metal where it sort of starts to break down, and obviously you're then doing the exact opposite to what you're trying to avoid. So. I'm just going to have it like that. This bit here may well get a bit scratched from me trying to close it and missing the little hole, but hey ho, I'm prepared for that. It's hardly going to notice and it's to be worn. So, yeah, so then inside, oh, so I'll keep it in the outside. One thing I really also liked about the reverse monogram is that because you've got three sections to the bag inside and how it's stitched, I'll put it too hard, you can see there how it's stitched. Um, you've got the different sections and what I love is how you've got the reverse monogram running in those sections. Um, other people have said about glazing issues on these. Well, as new, mine is absolutely fine. If I get an issue, well, I'll send it back to LV, we'll sort it out. But yeah, I had a really good check over this before I bought it because, you know, they're not cheap. Um, there has just been an LV price increase. So, luckily this had an increase, which is good because I literally got it like days after the increase. Although I don't know if I'd have honoured the old price anyway, no idea. Um, but this is £1,340. Um, so it's not cheap, but then compared to some other bags, it's not that bad either. Um, so yeah, so that's one thing I really liked about the monogram and also the... the um, and it's true for all of them. This is all one big sheet of canvas. So if you look, we've got the monogram the right way up there and then upside down on the back. And as you can see, it's because it's one continuous piece of canvas. So going on to the inside. Three sections. Here is the strap, which again is in the reverse monogram. I'll try and show you there. And yes, yeah, so you've got one end, you've got a little clippy bit to clip on. And again, you've got a Louis Vuitton, I'm trying to show you, you've got Louis Vuitton branding on there. So that's that. And then, yeah, strap here. This is mainly to be worn crossbody. I think you could probably wear it on the shoulder. Um, but you probably have to go on the, like, the highest setting so this is on this is calm one two three but it's got five holes so five settings if you like and um, yeah you literally just put the buckle as the way you want it it's got you know a little grippy bit there a little grippy bit here which to be honest does slide down but again it doesn't mean that this curls up or anything so it's you know not a problem and then we've got the other clip for the other side um, and again on the Short interlude there, um, my memory card was full. Here's me worrying about the battery and the memory card was full. So, I was showing you the strap, um, and yeah, the last thing I think I was showing you was that on the buckle you've also got some 
branding of Louis Vuitton there. So basically this will just clip onto there and then also on the other side just on here. So it's not easy with like it's easy to do, it's just not easy to do on camera. So you can see, but anyway. A battle on. So there you can see it. So I'll show you that better when I do the model shots now. I might even amend the positioning so you can see. Right, so back to the inside then. You have three sections and it's all in this really nice um I think it's kind of I think it's black, yeah, black microfiber finish that Louis Vuitton do. Um, so you can see, I'm trying to show you in there, you've got the little bit of branding there. So yes, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. So that's great. So yes, you've got front section here, which is probably the medium of the size in terms of the, the width from this bit. You then got this section here, which is the biggest section, and then there's this smaller section here. So what I like about the bag is it does hold quite a lot. Um, so we've come moving to first impressions here. One, I absolutely love the look of it, and I think it goes well. You know, I'm wearing like navy blue here, which is coming out a bit brighter on the film than it really is, but navy blue jumper, just plain, and it goes well with that. It also looks nice against black. It will go well with browns. Um, I, when I first tried it on, um, I'll insert a picture of me first trying it on in store. I'll do that here. And you can see, um, well, I look very, very pleased. Like the cat got the, they got the cream, as my husband said. And you can see it goes well with grey as well from that picture. Um, so it is quite lightweight, but I love having the pocket on the back. So if I've got like a you know, transport travel card or anything, it's easy to get to and um, just simply unzip it, get to what you want and do it. If you're on, on and off something a lot, you could even have it open and just dip in because it's going to be the side against your body. I love that it's secure, um, it's got the closure here so it's nice and secure, it's not just open, which is, you know, unlike my never before, which I do adore. Um, I also like the fact that the canvas is one, I love the look of it, but also it's lightweight, it's durable. I haven't got to worry about getting caught in the rain again, being in England. That's one of the key things that happens frequently. I like that it's big enough to get things in, like my umbrella, and I'll show you exactly what I can get in in, in a minute. Um, but at the same time, it's not too big and too bulky. As a crossbody bag, because it's not too thick, obviously it will thicken out. You know, The more you put in, these bits will, as you can see there, they, they will expand. Um, but it's still not going to be too big and chunky. One of the other bags I'd thought about was the Speedy, either the 25 or 30. Now in the Enpont leather, I loved it because you've got like front slip pocket and things like that that gives me my organisation that I like. But on the other hand, it's not going to give me that complete carefree or same lightweightness as the canvas. But then if I get the canvas Speedy, the zip doesn't open that much. You've got to rummage a little bit to get stuff and I'm just not a rummager. I need to say, I want this, in, out, got it, lovely. So that's that. Um, so yes, that's what I love about this, is it's, I can organise my stuff into three sections. And for someone like me, that's great. You know, everyone's different, but for me, that's a really positive thing. And I've just noticed I left a little bit of plastic. There, yeah, got it. So what is that? Um, so, yeah. So that's my first impressions and my unboxing bit done. And a little bit of backstory about how I got it. Um, so yeah, I'll now cut and I'll do some mod shots. And then I'll also show you what fits inside. Right, so here's the bag crossbody. So you can see there, so you can have it sort of more to the front. Have it to the side because it's just on hip level. Or you could swish it to the back a bit more. So that's it crossbody and like I say that is on the middle of the five rings. I'll come a bit closer so you can see. So that's one way of wearing it. Then if I take it off I could shorten the strap here and let's just for now put it on the shortest one. 
and then just slide this bit up. So if I wanted to wear it on my shoulder, I could do. And again, it's sort of at that hip level. Um, for reference, I'm five foot three and a little bit. When you're five foot three and a little bit, then a little bit counts. So that's it there. And then of course you can then just, if you wanted to, either remove the strap or just let it flop. And then yeah, you, know, you can you can sort of just hook your arm in a little bit just to there, and that's just with a jumper. So I probably wouldn't recommend it because you don't want to bend the bag back too much. But you've got a little top handle there, so you could just. Hold it like that. Yeah, that's that. Right, so let's see then for the final bit what we can actually fit inside this. I've taken the strap off for now just to make it easier. So I've got a few of my everyday items and I'm going to start off with the back flap. So let's unzip it. And probably for me, one of the things I'd like to put in is my travel card holder so as you can see that would just fit in there nice and easily or the other thing you might want to put in is your phone I've got the iPhone X which I've got in the Louis Vuitton folio case so I don't know if that would fit in or not yes that does fit in and I think if you've got the like the 7 plus or the 8 plus you probably could Probably, I don't know, but it'd be a bit harder to navigate just because of the zip because it does go all the way to the end of the pocket, it just zips a bit narrower. So you can see that would go in, the X goes in quite easily. But the other thing, and I might be a bit cautious about doing that, is I wouldn't want to catch the case on the zip, so I probably won't do that. But anyway, at least you know you can, you know, everyone's different, and if I were to have it not in a case, then maybe I, I would do that. So for the main section. Um, I've got a few things here. So I've got this, I'm going to call it a full size wallet. This isn't the zip, it's the Clements wallet. So if I were to put this in, I'd probably put it in the front. So you can see this is like the medium size of the pockets. So that goes in like that quite easily. And then I would probably have with me, depending on where I am, but trusty umbrella. So that goes sort of in the bottom of the main section and then tangle teaser again I still want a narrower one tangle teaser pop that in there on its side and then I've got a mini pochette here and in this I've I won't bother showing you because it's not that interesting but in this I've got mini hand cream hand sanitizer hairband a lip balm in the shape of a lipstick a compact a brush and a new little miniature blusher that I got as a free gift from Space NK, which is um, Nars Orgasm, but it's actually a really nice colour. So, yeah, so that's, I think that's it. That's the mini pochette, and that can just go in there on top of the umbrella, and you can see there's quite a bit of room. I do have the GM size cosmetic pouch. That does not go in, even if you just put that alone in the big section. It's too wide. Not that I would think it would go in there, but anyway. And then there's a number of things you could put. I might want to put then my clay with my keys in, in the back section. And then maybe a packet of tissues, because again, with this crappy weather that we have in England, you often end up with a runny nose. And then I've got some Beats headphones there in their own little pocket. So that would go in. So that's, I think that's quite a lot of stuff, actually. Does it shut? Feels like it should do. Again, try not to scratch. Yes, it does shut and fairly easily. The one thing I have noticed, if you put too much in that back pocket, it does slightly, yeah, this bit goes a little bit weird. So maybe I wouldn't put much in that back pocket. Not that I put anything that big, and you can see from here, it's it's got room. You could put more in. I just think it looks nicer not to on this part of the bag and like I said at the moment there's absolutely nothing in that zip even with those things in there I could still put my travel wallet and then it would zip up fairly easily obviously it's getting a bit weightier now but 
that's because I'm putting a lot of items in. So there's room for a bit more. Um, it might be that I want to put my sunglasses in. So I've got them just, these are my new Chanel sunglasses. I've got them just in the little pouch that they came in. And again, you see they just go on top in the front there. So that would fit in. And yeah. Bag does shut. Again, I'm still getting used to it. It does shut fairly easily, actually. I, that was just me being awkward. Um, so I think that's quite a lot. If I didn't have that all that in, and I think as well having a full size wallet puts, um, you know, fills that up quite a lot. If I didn't have that in, could I put my sunglasses? In? Ooh, well, it's quite a lot coming out of here. Could I put? my sunglasses case in. I'm going to take everything out and just start again. So sunglasses case, again this is my new Chanel one. As you can see it's fairly chunky, look at the width on that. It is fairly chunky. Yes you can put it in the main section but it does then restrict you for what else you can put in. So I don't... Have my mini pochette going? Oh yeah, I could probably could get the mini pochette. I probably would shut with the mini pochette in because it's not full full. Yeah, it would actually, it would. So if you wanted greater protection for your sunglasses and you weren't carrying loads of other stuff, then yeah, you could get that in. Would I still be able to get the full size wallet in? Yes. And yeah, that would shut again fairly easily. But again, it's making it bulky, so I doubt I would do that, but it's nice to know that you can. So the only other things that I've got in that I might put in this so ideally for me if I'm going to be packing this I would have in same for example my city break in Rome I'm probably going to have obviously I have my passport but we'll worry about that another time I can't bother to get that so umbrella tangle teaser mini pochette that's going to be in quite a bit of room there um, maybe I would want my Hermes agenda might be that I've got a list of places I want to see and I could put that in that way or even it go that way yeah or that way the thing as well with this canvas it's quite I do it is softening already it's nice and soft and flexible um so pen to go with the agenda and then I could also put in packet of tissues I might want my Chanel card holder. Again, I don't tend to travel with a full size wallet. I genuinely don't. I just take what I want and put it in like a little zippy wallet or now that I've got that card wallet that. I, if I was going to be cold, I might want my gloves and... Right, so that really was the battery going. So I've had to put the light on now. So this looks a lot more orangey due to the artificial light than it does in person but you got the unboxing before in natural light so you can see what she really looks like so I was putting some things in and I got as far as doing the card holder I believe and my gender and tissues and things so what else would I put in here if I'm going to Rome probably oh well, this is the other thing I'd put in, in this collection would be my phone just in the front there and again closes really easily. So I'm going to do one final one and that's going to be probably the most likely, likely combination that I'll take to Rome. So I'll probably just take out the umbrella and the agenda and the pen and because I'm being hopeful here and I would put in obviously I'm filming on it at the moment but my camera but this gives you an idea of size so that would go in and I would put in where would that go? Mini pochette. Yeah, probably if I put mini pochette, tangle tees are flat like so, and then camera just on top. Because again you want the camera to be easily accessible. And the other thing with this bag is even if you put quite a lot in, because you've got these three sections, um oh I didn't realise I forgot to show you that earlier. Let's just see. Louis Vuitton care card so just telling me that it's coated fabric exterior textile lining and calfskin trimming lovely so 
yeah, tissues I would have, camera, mini pochette, tangle teaser, phone, card, wallet. And you can see that uh, nothing, no section is, is too big. And then, oh, I would have this, look. My Rome map. I'll probably just pop that in the back little slot there. And let's be optimistic and put in sunglasses. So that closes really easily and then if I wanted to in the back I've still got room to put like I am thinking about like a Rome city pass thing so which again it allows you to use um, transport links as well as access some of the um, tourist spots so I'd probably just have that in this little bit so yes yeah, so I wouldn't have this instead I'd have the, um, the card just slotted in there and that'd be that so that's pretty good actually so I'm going to leave it there. Um, the only other thing I'll say is whilst I was waiting for the battery to charge, I had an email from my lovely sales associate at Harrods just saying, obviously, what a pleasure it was to see me again in Harrods, but just also checking I was happy with the bag and, you know, if there's anything else at all that he could help me with, not to hesitate getting in touch. So I've replied saying, you know, how nice it was and how grateful I am for him helping me source this bag because I, I genuinely am really happy and I wouldn't have got it otherwise. When I went to Bond Street... They were just like, no, haven't got one, good luck, there aren't any in the UK. So, yeah. So I thought that was really nice and really sweet. So, um, absolutely, we'll go directly to him for anything. As I tend to go to Harrods if I can anyway because of the, the rewards programme. But anyway, just thought I'd let you know that. So for me and my bag in the artificial light, but it still looks pretty. Um, look how shiny that is. Um, anyway, that's that. Thanks. Hi, so I hope you found that useful. Um, I'll show you one last time. Here it is. Look at the stunning colour. And yeah, overall, my conclusion is so far, I absolutely love this bag. And I'm so glad that I waited for it and I persevered. Um, when I picked it up, um, if my sales associate was like, I was getting close to suggest you just go for the normal monogram. It was, you know... There's hardly any, you know, so there's hardly any reverse monogram around now. Um, and in terms of where you do get reverse monogram print, it's normally on like the, the special items, I don't know, something I wouldn't be buying, like limited edition pieces and things. So, yeah, so I'm really, really glad I got it. Um, I've got a city break to Rome, so we're doing like three nights, four days in Rome in a few weeks. So, I'm taking this, and I think that's going to really put it to the test. I think using a bag continually for four days I mean the city break can need you know enough to go with you I'll have a map and a brolly and god knows what so it'll give me enough to see how I get on with with it really and just using it and going in and out of it as opposed to like you know if I took it to work then I use it in a bit in the morning and then it sits there most of the day and then I pick it up to come home with so yeah I will do that and uh, so for me and my lovely Pochette Matisse in monogram reverse it is goodbye